All right, here with Jeff yep. Mayweather inside the Mayweather Boxing Club. What's going on, Jeff? Not a whole lot. I'm busy. Surprising weekend. Uh, I think basically nobody besides the people in his own camp uh, picked Ryan Garcia, but stunning win and in dominating fashion against Devin Haney. Thoughts on the fight? Um, I thought Ryan fooled everyone. He fooled everybody in the boxing world that he was crazy, that he wasn't working, wasn't training hard, and who knows, maybe maybe Devin Camp probably thought he wasn't either, because everybody was talking about, this guy shouldn't be fighting, he shouldn't be fighting, but... So you, so you think that was all an act, then? Of course. He even said it himself after the fight was over. Guess we'll see what happens going forward, if he uh, keeps it up, or, or if he... Yeah, because I mean, it was kind of like, it seemed like it kind of came out of nowhere, right? He was... Well, I mean, you can't drink beer on, on the way in on the scale. You can't do that. Yeah. So, obviously, somebody allowed him to do it because they knew that he didn't have no beer. Well, let's talk about the fight. Uh, first of all, Devin, you know, the, the rounds he didn't get hurt and didn't get dropped, you know, he, he won the rounds, right? He won the majority of the rounds, but obviously it doesn't matter when you're getting dropped you know, in the rounds you don't win. Yeah, because, but I mean, other the, the Round when you get knocked down, there's two points. Right. What do you three knock three knockdowns? The fight is automatically a draw. Right. What do you think? Well, first of all, let's start with with the referee. What do you think of his performance? I know he's getting a lot of criticism. Maybe a couple knockdowns that were not counted. That should have been, you know, taking a point from Ryan with no warning. uh, Warning Ryan for holding when it it appeared Devin was doing the majority of the holding. Well, I mean, they they both were they both were doing a little bit of holding. So I'm not gonna say that it was just it was just Devin. It was both. So you don't think he was a little biased on the, on the side of Devin? Um, he might have been a little bit with the with the knockdowns, because I mean, you know, I mean, it was a, I, I seen one knockdown that that he called, and he, he didn't call it a knockdown, but you know, I mean, that happens. What did you think of the the? Now I know the 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 TV scorecard had it a draw, and then one of the judges had it a draw. Could you see it being a draw? No, you can't really see it being a draw because, I mean, that would mean that the only rounds that Ryan won was the rounds that he won by knockdown, but I thought he won more than one, more than, more than three rounds. What do you think from a mental standpoint for Devin going forward? Um, you know, is this, would a loss like this be more mentally uh, damaging maybe than another type of loss, you know, getting dropped three times and physically overpowered like that? I mean, is it the kind of thing that can really hurt him going forward, or do you think that's something, you know, a strong-willed fighter's going to get over and move forward? Well, I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, it can go either way. I mean, we we won't know until we see him fight. But, I mean, my brother Roger, when he was still alive, when he fought, when he fought, I mean, he was in not fights where he just been knocked down. He had fights where he'd been knocked out. Hey. And he was able to come, you know, he was able to come back, and he was able to come back strong and, and still win a world title. I mean, you know, Devin still has his title. Mm-hmm. Well, Ryan was already one of the biggest stars in boxing, title or not, uh, before this fight. What does this fight do for him going forward? I mean, the one thing is this, is that Ryan is, you know, one of the biggest stars in boxing. And basically... Even the guys that are ranked above him, it all depends on what Ryan wants to do. If he wants to fight for the money, just fight for the money. He don't got to fight for the title. Well, he said that too, right? Like he doesn't care about the titles. He's more interested in interesting fights and obviously for money. So that's a thing he's more worried about. Uh, said he's gonna move up to 147. Um, you know, but you know, fights like I said the title doesn't matter. And he doesn't worry about cutting weight. That's one thing he does not. Because I mean, obviously he blew off the weight before. You know, he figured, you know, hey, losing one and a half millions, you know, that's fine because he's obviously going to make that more by winning the fight, but not even trying yeah, to make the weight yeah, necessarily. I mean, I mean, I mean, I guess it's been it's been rumored that he, he bet on himself. Yeah, he said he he, he, he said he did. Million, yeah, and he won twelve million. So yeah. he honestly, like I said, he fooled the world. Thinking, making people think that this guy's nuts. So what does he do now? Does he go to 147? And, and he said he doesn't care about a title, but you know the guys up there. You have Boots Ennis, uh, who I know Eddie Hearn wants him to fight, and then you have Crawford up there. Is you know are these kinds of fights that he could be entertaining, or what, what do you think's next well, for I him? Mean, the, the one thing is this: is that these are fights that can be entertaining, but 
if he's looking to get paid, those are the fights that he should be fighting. Yeah. What about a, you know, and they're talk of course about a rematch with Tank, but you know the Tank's one thirty five. No, Obviously, that, Ryan's that not gonna. That fight's never gonna happen. Right, and then and then Haney, who called the shots for this one, you know, going forward they had a rematch. It'd have to be at one forty seven, I assume. But Devin said he wants to move up there anyway. So is that the logical thing for you? Is a rematch? Um, I don't I don't know if that's the logical thing because I mean Ryan has so many different you know guys out there. You know, and I mean, and he proved himself that, you know, he was, he could be the world champion. If, if, he, if he really wanted to make the weight, he could have made, could have made the weight. Mm -hmm. What do you think about, you know, the one criticism of Devin and it showed in this fight was the lack of power. Um, he wants to move up to 147. Is that, I mean, if he's already light, you know, doesn't have a lot of power at 140, is that he going to be in a lot of trouble at 147? I mean... Don't get me wrong. I mean, the thing is that when when you move up, I mean, Devin just he has to fight smart, you know. And I mean, and he in the fight with um, Ryan, I mean, he got caught early. Yeah. He got caught in the very first round, so he was already doing that wrong. And once you get caught by a fighter, and the fighter, it, you know, is the one who initiates the the attack. I mean, you know, and that was in his head the whole fight. And then last thing, what do you think? Kept talking about Ryan and his shoulder roll. I don't know if it's a shoulder no, roll. Back but... roll. I, was, <laughs> I never seen no shoulder roll well, like that. Well, I mean, I don't know. Was it effective or, or what do you no, what do you that think? That wasn't effective. At all. It wasn't effective at all. And I mean, you know, I mean, but like I said, I mean, I got it. I take my hat off to him because I mean, he fooled the world. He fooled everyone. Everyone thought that this guy was nuts. Mm. What do you think about him turning his back though, like that? Um, I mean, is that you think? I saw Devin finally at one point just started yeah, just punching hit him, in him. The back. And, and, and even the referee like, allowed him to hit him in the back because yeah. he said if you keep turning your, your back, he's going to allow him to hit him, yeah. and he did. All right, man. Well, I know you're a, you're a fan of Devin, so um, well, I'm a fan of both. Yeah. Well, so what do you well like, what do you hope for Devin though going forward? What do you want to see him do? Well, I mean, he's, he still has the title, um, so I mean. If he's not struggling to make the weight, he should defend it, you know. But um, but I mean, you know, and the sky's the limit for Ryan now. All right, man. Appreciate it. All right. Thanks.